Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. I recently reviewed the Glowforge Aura and I wanted to do a few basics videos so you can see exactly what is possible with the Glowforge. The first video we're going to do is uploading your own designs as well as tracing your own designs or artwork or photos. So you can do all of that with the Glowforge Aura. So in my last video I used sort of their files, their fonts, but I wanted to show you that you can do so much more than that. So we're going to go through uploading a design, and yes I have a free design that you can use with your Glowforge cutting machine, sublimation, however you want to use that free design. So we're going to upload that free design, and then I'm also going to walk through how to trace with the Glowforge itself. So the Glowforge itself has a camera that will trace your drawings, your photos, anything else that you could put inside of the Glowforge, and it will trace around it for you using that camera. So it is a very cool feature and we will be using that in future videos, so stay tuned. But first let's go over the basics of uploading your own designs as well as tracing. And we are just going to trace like a test here just to show you what is possible. There are a few different ways you can upload designs. So if we go to create a new design on just app.glowforge.com, you'll see the option to upload a file as well as trace a design. First we're going to talk about uploading a file. So for uploading a file, you can upload an SVG for cutting, a JPEG or PNG will be for engraving. If you're a premium member, you can also upload DXF files. And you can also find these two options in one other location. So if you are on a blank design template and you click the plus button, then you'll also find those in the top right hand corner. So trace and upload are also located there. It doesn't matter which place you hit them, it does the same thing. So we're gonna go ahead and click upload. Then we're gonna find the file on your computer that you wanna upload. Now I will have this Hello Summer SVG file for free and you can find that in the description below this video. So just sign up and get the file. You do wanna be sure to upload the SVG file if you're gonna use it for cutting with your Glowforge. So I'm gonna go ahead and click open. The design will upload and then process. Then you will see it on your screen. It's just gonna depend on how your file was created, how many layers you have over here. But I've got the watermelon rind, the watermelon itself, and then the hello summer as well as the little seeds are all one piece. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that. Now let's say I wanna put this on a wood round. So I wanna cut out these pieces, but I also want to cut out a round shape. So I'm gonna do insert shape and insert a circle. And you could upload a circle as well if you didn't want to use this function, but I'm going to just do this for ease of use. So I'm going to pick all my design and I need to make it a little smaller to fit my circle. And then I'm going to move my circle over the top. And then once I have everything like I like it, I can go ahead and cut this. So I have one through cutting in other videos. So for this one, I would probably add some Glowforge proof grade material and paint it later. So let's just say I'm going to use a medium basswood for this. And I'm going to change each of these to a cut file. So you just wanna make sure each of them is a cut. If you wanna cut all these pieces, if I wanted to engrave it into the wood, I could do that as well, just by changing it to an engrave file type. But I am gonna change it to cut. That's, so that's how you would upload your own file for the Glowforge to cut. So now let's take a look at that trace feature. To give that trace feature a try, I went ahead and opened my Glowforge and just put a piece of paper inside. In this case, the piece of paper just says test on it, and I wrote it just with a Sharpie on a plain piece of copy paper. Once I close the lid for the Glowforge, it scans that piece of paper, and now I can click import artwork, and I can click trace. Now it's going to capture whatever artwork I have put inside of my Glowforge. So you can trace objects, you can trace things you've drawn, you can trace anything that you can put in the Glowforge itself. So we just draw a square around where we want to trace and we could remove any portions at this point. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to click place artwork. We can adjust the artwork from here so we could change the brightness, the contrast, the sharpness. We could erase portions of it. We could crop it out. Then when you do that trace function, it's gonna come in as an engrave type. So you are going to be able to engrave this into other things. So now you can see that my artwork is still in my laser. However, I have my engraving here of the word test that I drew on a piece of copy paper and it's ready to engrave into anything that I would like to engrave it into. So you can do the same thing with things you've drawn, with photos of your family, with other objects around your home. The Glowforge Aura will trace these things 
and you'll be able to use the artwork on a variety of surfaces. So now that I've showed you how to upload as well as trace, I'm gonna use some of these features in a future video. So stay tuned because we are going to talk about engraving with the Glowforge Aura. I'm gonna engrave on a bunch of materials in a video very soon using some of the techniques I showed in this video. So be sure to subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss that because I think you are really gonna love what I have in store. So if this video helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about uploading with the Glowforge or Glowforge software questions in general, ask those below. That way I can answer them in a future video as well. I kind of want to do steps with the Glowforge software and show you different features in different shorter videos. Then if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank y'all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.